and action. Hey folks, welcome to uh, Orange County Sports Spine Neuropathy Laser Center. Today we're, uh, we finished uh, Dijon's uh, laser treatment for his herniated disc in his neck and his low back. And now we're going to start the rehabilitation to stabilize his spine, which is a phase two of his rehabilitation. I'm going to check uh, his range of motion, so flexion. You're just going to keep your knees straight. Let's see how far you can bend down without pain. Or tell me when the pain starts, if at all. Not very far. Sorry. About right there. Just a lot okay. of tightness and pain. Right, right there, right, right yeah. in the low back. Yeah. So that was about maybe 70, 80 degrees. And we're going to put them on the machine and see if we get better range of motion from that. So I'm just going to lock his hips in right here. That way he can't escape. Mid belt time. Okay. Open in here. Other one is tight, but not gut busting tight. That's pretty good. Okay, so what this ATM machine does, it's stabilizing his hip joint and lower spine so we can gauge uh, the part of the core musculature functionally. Because most core muscle strengthening is doing when you're on the floor, lying on your back. The problem with that is it's not very functional. Not, most, not many of us lie on the floor all day, so we're upright. So it makes sense. This is more functional. It's a closed kinetic chain activity, which means the feet, the, the nerve fibers and the feet, they're engaging with the floor, with the core, so it's more functional, okay? Especially these athletes who want to, they want to go back into vigorous exercise, right? Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to do like a crunch. You're going to push your low back into the mat as you just vigorously crunch like that and hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. No pain? Good? No, that's right. Okay. Good. Again. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Take this one. Keep going. Keep going. Keep on going. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One. Two, eight, one, two, three, that's nine, one, two, three, that's ten. Okay, I'm going to take this off, and we're going to compare movements right there. When you're uh, playing a professional volleyball, what, what type of core exercise did you do? Tons of crunches. Yeah, you're on the floor, right? And if you did this, it would be so much more functional because you know you're like this all day, right. and it's all that core movement which spikes the ball. It's not the arm power. It all comes from that hip extension and flexion. Mm -hmm. Let's try that again. Let's see how much you go down. Look at that. Look, you go down past 90 degrees. Oh yeah, now, now I can. Look at that. And that's just one session. Just think about it when he finishes, you know, about 12 sessions, how much that will engage the core and then reestablish normal movement patterns. And that's what this baby does here. Thanks for watching uh, OC Sports Spine Neuropathy TV. Uh, we'll see you next time.